Good evening. Hello. Hello, Facebook world. You've got Hi. Catherine and Beth tonight. Hi. So lovely to be with you. Yeah. Looks a little bit different in here. Fancy schmancy We're Sunday in the studio, studio today. today. A bit mm. lucky. I know. Yeah. It looks all spiffy, doesn't it? it we does. could be news reporters. We could be do, do, bringing do, 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 your do, do, nightly do. news. <laughs> with hey, Teresa. Good Hi. evening. Oh, this is the best part. This is so good. I wonder if we'll get comments today. We've been having trouble seeing our comments, yeah. but we can see your profile pics coming up. We can see you online. Hey, Pete Dishington. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Hope you're all staying warm. Oh, it's freezing. Freezing. Had a bit of hot drinks and so slippers cold. on, maybe. I've like got my big coat on that's like a dressing gown. I've got my coat on my legs on and lap. the blankets. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about warm. the studio, it is actually super chilly. Yes. Like, mm, that's all right. We'll be, we'll be nice and quick and then we can go and have a nice hot cup of coffee. Hot cup of coffee. I don't drink coffee. No, you, you drink chai. I'm I do. a coffee drinker. I, I drink tea too, but not this time of night. Can you drink coffee? Yeah, I probably like, could, which is we probably should. Oh, but yeah. anyway, so leave your comments. Co coffee at this time of the night? Coffee, yes or no? tea, hot chocolate. <laughs> what do you like in the a chamomile tea? Just had one of those actually, so maybe I don't need a coffee. Maybe. I'll be falling asleep soon. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's hope not anyway. I can see lots of people popping up along the top there. Yeah, look. So good oh. to be with you all. Hey, Kate. Hey, Matt. Felicity, hello. Oh, there's heaps of you. Yeah. I'm sure you're all writing really lovely things to us. Yes. We just can't see yeah. them right now. Thank you for your lovely comments. <laughs> just being prophetic about all of your beautiful words to us. Yes. Laura, I can see there. Hello. Beth Madden, hello. Oh, awesome. Oh. Well, oh. Beth is actually going to be leading us tonight in our Living What We've Learned segment. Mm -hmm. So we'd love to just take this opportunity on a Tuesday night to reflect on what we're coming out of on a Sunday from our um, online gathering message. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out on YouTube, yeah. um, Abundant Life Church videos, oh, Abundant Life Church Tasmania. That's it, yeah. Um, and you can catch up on there. Um, we've been loving spending that, that time together on a Sunday morning. Um, do you want to kick it off? And yeah. What you think? Yeah. Well, first of all, definitely go and watch it because it was Catherine and Isaac and Gary preaching on Sunday and they did an amazing job. I got so much out of it. I loved the Bible stories that they shared. Um, definitely, definitely worth a watch. But what they spoke about on Sunday was care in crisis mm -hmm. and they were talking about what they had learned about themselves, about the church and about God during this crisis. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a little bit about what I have learned during this crisis about myself, about the church and about God. Awesome. Um, and what I was reflecting on today with my dad as I was thinking over what I was going to say tonight is we were talking about the fact that we are always learning, always, always learning. Life is throwing things at us for us to learn about and grow in all the time. Yeah. But he said to me, Beth, school is always in, is his comment at the moment. School is always in. There's always an opportunity to learn. There's always an opportunity for us to be intentional about what we're learning. Mm. And I loved that. But I'm going to share about what I have learned on those three points that I mentioned just before. So the first one is what I have learned about myself during this period. And the first one is I actually am a very affectionate person. Yeah. I really like hugs. Yeah. I didn't think I liked hugs. I, I thought, never have guessed that, I, you know, well, with I Matt did. being your dad, that you're a yeah. hugger. Well, Who I thought I was thought? a high-fiver. I thought I'd go for the high-fives, not the hug, but I've really missed hugs. So I've missed embracing my yeah. people during this time. Yeah, so that's one too. thing I've learned about myself. Yeah. Um, but one of the other things I've learned is that I actually have a larger capacity than I realised. Mm. Um, and that's because of God's goodness allowing me to get through that and allowing me to expand my capacity. Yep. But I think subconsciously sometimes we go, oh, I'm not going to take that extra step. I'm not going to challenge myself. I'm not going to sacrifice that time or that thing or that space because I'm scared about pushing myself too much. I don't want to reach capacity. I don't want to burn out. Yep. But what I've realized in this time is that my capacity is so much bigger than I realized when I did take that extra step, when I did challenge myself and push myself a little bit further. But on the flip side of that, I learned that I need to do that all in team. And I need to do that with people around me. And yeah. if I don't have people like yourself, and I can think of my mum and dad and lovely Laura and Johanna all encouraging me and going, Beth, can I help with this? Beth, yeah. can I help with that? Especially during this season, doing all of our online stuff, it's been pretty hectic. Mm. But doing that outside of team would have been impossible and I would have burnt out and then my capacity would have shrunk. Um, so I've got a bigger capacity than I thought, but also need to do that all in team. Otherwise, my capacity will shrink. 
The second thing was what I learned about church in this season. And I don't think I can say it any better than you said it on Sunday, actually. You said, as a church, we are always on mission. Whether we are, I think the video that we watched said six feet or six miles apart. Yeah. We're always on mission. Our mission, our purpose, our God-given mandate doesn't stop when we are outside of the building. Absolutely. It is always there for us to do and yeah. we always say go and love somebody so go and love somebody regardless of whether we're in the building yeah. sitting yeah. like this or whether it's a phone call or a text message it was an encouragement to me on sunday to just a reminder we are always on mission we've yeah. always got something to do so that good. doesn't end just because we are isolated that's right and then the last thing was what have i learned about god in this season this was a big one and i sat there and wrote a list about so many things and the song Waymaker actually came to mind as in this season I have relearned I think I'm going to say relearned because I already knew but that God is a way maker a promise keeper a miracle worker and a light in the darkness yep. and he said to me as I was writing all these things out he said when you are obedient and when you step in and when you sacrifice it's like I want to bless you and I'm going to provide for you mm. and that's not because of my works yeah. that's not because I have done something that is because I've actually stepped in and been faithful mm. and I've got to say it has not always been easy I was thinking today all the times I've had a terrible attitude when it's gotten too much when I've been really scared when I haven't actually been able to see a possible time slot on my calendar to fit something in mm. he has given me the ability to keep going and to keep stepping in um, and keep sacrificing that time and he has blessed Tom and I so immensely through that. Yeah. And I think I was sharing with you before as well, he's not just blessing us so that we can take it away and, yeah. and hide it away. Um, mm. Some beautiful friends of mine have encouraged me to watch something called Kingdom Investors. And um, the main guy was saying, when we do God's will, God's way, he will give us more to continue going about God's will, God's way. That's so good. But that's when we sacrifice some time, sacrifice things when we step in and we're obedient to him mm. so they're the few things that i've learned in this season about myself about church and about god um and i also just want to encourage you our learning doesn't have to stop now just because you know restrictions are being eased and we're coming yep. back together yep. there are so many opportunities to keep learning we've got mm. all of our facebook lives we've got the podcast going on to spotify but most importantly we've got our connect groups where we can actually be with each other yeah. and partner together and be in relationship with each other and I'm so excited to get back into those spaces yeah. in person in real, life. Um, in real life and just continue learning from one another so yeah brilliant can you tell us that quote yeah. again from kingdom of yeah so um now I've lost it of course the words have gone when we do God's will God's way he will give us more so we continue to go about God's will God's way I love that yeah it's someone good, better write it? that in the comments yeah that is wonderful kingdom investors pocket. Good one. That's yeah. brilliant. Thank you, Beth. Love Thank that. You. I so love um, listening to all these different points of view and, and the way that each of us can get something different or, or yeah. you know, um, just how we receive a Sunday message. Yeah. I just feel like sometimes I hear something from somebody else yeah. that I haven't heard myself. So love that. And I love that we can all just refine each other yeah. and, and find those gold nuggets. That's beautiful. So um, as we always love to, we would so... Um, love to invite you to pray with us tonight um, as we pray together. So um, why don't we bow our heads. Father God, thank you so much for this opportunity that even when we may not be able to meet in person, mm -hmm. Lord, that we can gather in an online forum in this mm. capacity, God, and, and still stand as your church, God. We still stand as an army of God's people that are on mission, Lord. And as Beth was saying, you know, when we put you first and we make these sacrifices for you, God, you just make more room for your will to be done, mm. Lord. And we just want to proclaim that tonight, God. We would just want to speak your goodness over each of our lives and, and each yes. of the... Um, the neighbourhoods and communities that we have um, influence in God, we just ask that your will would be done in this season, Lord, mm. that, that your voice would be carried, that your blessings would be given and received, God, and that you would be um, in the centre of, of this whole season, Lord, that your goodness would reign supreme. Yes. And God, we just ask for a special blessing for all of those that are watching on at home, God, that you would just... Um, guard their homes with your love and your protection and your peace, Lord, that you would fill them with joy. We ask for all of our um, church teams that are busy having a big meeting tonight as well, God, that you would just pour huge blessing in there as well, God. And we just ask that for all of those 
um, in churches all over the state and all over the country, God, that are facing big decisions and, and um, you know, starting to look at how church is going to look for this rest of the year, Lord. We mm. ask for your wisdom. We ask that you would be in the room for all of these churches, God, and you would just pour blessing upon blessing. We ask it all in your name. Amen. Amen. So make sure you're jumping online tomorrow night. We have Wednesdays is Q and A yes. with Pastor Matt and Pastor Karen. Still one highlight of my week. Yeah, yes. that's great. You can actually send in your questions ahead of time. So um, you can send those through to hello at abundant dot org dot no. Yes. Yeah. Dot org dot yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, God, I was uh, quoting the website for a second. Yeah. That's yes. It. So you can send those into hello at abundant dot org dot au, um, and then you might. To be a lucky winner tomorrow they <laughs> might answer your question um but yeah it's always a laugh always a bit of fun and yeah. always just packed full of wisdom if you've yeah. ever wondered what christianity is about if you've ever wanted to just see it real and honest that's the one to watch um and then you can jump back on again on thursday and join us again with a special guest Ooh. won't give any more away for that but Looking forward to it. <laughs> 7 o'clock tomorrow and 7 o'clock on Thursday. Yeah. And if you want to get in touch with us at all, we are so available. We are so here for you guys. And we look forward to hearing from you. Awesome. In the meantime, go, go and love somebody. Bye. Bye.